Business. New developments today in that firestorm over an Illinois girls basketball team denied a trip to Arizona. Their school district backing out of the national basketball playoffs, officials citing safety concerns because of Arizona's new law on illegal immigration. The girls at Highland Park High have been raising money to attend that tournament for a long time following the team's best season in 26 years. We're really excited to play in this tournament and to like make our and co really compete with these teams and it's just kind of devastating that we're not allowed to anymore. But wait, a rainbow. New at this hour, a Tucson company offering to pay for the girls to play in next season's tournament in Scottsdale. Joining us now by phone is Tom Regina, president of this company. It's a door and window manufacturer called American Openings. And also with us right now, live from Phoenix, is Glenn Hammer. He's the president and CEO of Arizona Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Gentlemen, thanks both of you for joining us. Tom, I want to start with you. Are you there? I am here. Uh, you know, you're wading into one of the hottest topics across the nation right now, illegal immigration and the new law down in Arizona. So why would you do it? Why would you offer to help these girls out? Well, we decided to help the girls out for a couple of reasons. First off, they deserve the trip. Secondly, we want to promote Arizona. Uh, we want to show Ari uh, the country how beautiful Arizona is. And frankly, personally, uh, my belief is the girls, they're not the pawns of uh, the education system. They're not their inventory. They earned it. Uh, the, the education system doesn't own these young ladies. Well, and I know when you say promote Arizona, it has to be uh, on the heels of news that tourism, of course, is your biggest industry there. It has to be on the heels of news of all the money that you potentially could lose if people boycott your state. Arizona Chamber President Glenn Hammer, uh, I understand that the word boycott simply puts fear in the hearts of those who have to attract dollars. How endangered is Arizona's economy right now? Well, the new law certainly isn't isn't helpful. Uh, the estimates in Phoenix alone are about $90 million. But, but people need to understand what this law really, do, really does. First of all, it's a lot safer to be in Scottsdale, Arizona than Chicago, Illinois. People need to understand that point. Uh, the, the way that this new law is designed, a person can only be questioned on their immigration status if there is another lawful reason for a person to be pulled over. There's just a lot of bad information in terms of what this law does. And Arizona remains a very safe, desirable place uh, to travel to. Well, you know, Glenn, uh, I'd have to say those are fighting words. You know, Chicago, uh, the home of the president. Uh, it's yeah. interesting that you say that it's got to be a lot well, more take, dangerous. Take a, look at the, take a look at the FBI statistics. Scottsdale's a much safer city than, than, than Chicago. It's not, it's not even close. And also the weather's a lot better. <laughs> well, Tom, your company, American Openings, uh, have you talked with the coach or anybody representing the team in Highland Park, Illinois, to tell them your offer? We've talked to one of the parents, and the coach has uh, been emailed by our public relations, public relations firm, and we're awaiting her response. But our offer was made to the coaches, the, the uh, student athletes, and the parents not to the school. And, and you're in Tucson, not Phoenix, but you say it doesn't matter because it's, it's your whole state that's in jeopardy here dollars-wise. Arizona is Arizona and we're all for Arizona and we want to promote it. And what about the politics and all of this? Are you going to get into that? I could um, as far as <laughs> what my beliefs are, but frankly I believe that uh, the girls, the young ladies, deserve to come to a great state like Arizona. Politically, if they don't. I wasn't political at that age. I didn't even know anything about politics. We should leave them that way. And I understand you have young people in your own family, grandchildren, and, and, you, and I've heard, at least I've read that you've talked about, you really, really can uh, empathize with these young girls. That's correct. Absolutely correct. When, when they work so hard, they should get the reward. And they, they earned it, and they deserve it. And that's American Open is stepping in to help out. Uh, Glenn, I, I want to give you the last word on all this because, again, you are tasked with attracting dollars to your state. How important sure. is tourism? And is there anything that, that perhaps your governor, Jan Brewer, who has signed this new bill into law, it hasn't taken effect yet, it doesn't until the summer, but is there anything that you want to see her do? Well, well, in our view, Governor Brewer has been ha handling this matter in a very responsible way. What we'd like to see done is the federal government to finally to do its job, secure the border, as well as to 
reimburse border states such as Arizona for the costs incurred by its failure to secure the border. You know, our former governor, Governor Napolitano, who's now the Homeland Security chief, sent bills totaling about a half billion dollars to the federal, gov to the federal government during the Bush administration saying, dear Bush administration, you should be paying these bills. Uh, well, now that she's the Homeland Security Director, uh, we still in Arizona do not see these bills being paid. So we would, we would encourage the federal government to do its job, secure the borders, and to compensate border states such as Arizona for its failure to, uh, to, to meet a core federal obligation. All right, I can bet probably, Glenn Hammer, you've thought about calling her old governor, and I can absolutely say, Tom or Gina, that the girls of Highland Park, Illinois, are glad that you've been calling them. Please let us know how it works out and if they accept your offer. Gentlemen, thanks to both of you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the assistant superintendent who made the decision in Illinois to cancel the girls' basketball mm -hmm. trip, Suzanne Hebson is her name. It's no stranger to controversy. Uh, about three years ago, she used to make it mandatory that all incoming freshmen in high school attend a gay orientation class, yeah, I read about which that. they were forced to sit there and listen to the personal experiences of gay upperclassmen. And then they had to sign a confidentiality agreement. They couldn't speak about it to anybody even their own parents. Yeah. And then there was another time in which she made required reading, Angels in America, which is a very controversial and many people say lewd uh, play. Maybe a great piece of art on stage, I don't know. But you know, for that of, age? All of this and all of what you're describing has the kids right in a place where as parents we don't want them to be. That's in the middle of something they can't control. Yeah, political beliefs. Yeah. Right. That's all right. what happens.